Uh, how about us? Pretty. It's not bad today and pretty good tonight. I want to come back to the meteor shower, which peaks tonight. It happens every August, around the middle of August, as we pass through what's left of a comet's tail. That's what these meteors are, just comet poo, basically. Let's take a look at what's <laughs> you can wish on you that. Can expect as we head into the evening. <laughs> hey, you're going to remember now, you just got to use vivid imagery. Look to the northeast, towards the constellation Perseus, all sorts of apps you can download. Uh, Skywatch is one of them that lets you just hold your phone up to the sky and it kind of tracks which constellation you're looking at. The best viewing is actually going to be after midnight and around 4 o'clock in the morning because there's going to be a fairly bright moon. As that starts to set, you'll get the best view of maybe some shooting stars. They will be visible with the naked eye. You don't need a telescope or binoculars about 50 to 75 shooting stars per hour. Visibility looks like it's going to be pretty good in our neck of the woods with just a few fair weather clouds floating through. And that's what we're seeing this morning too. 66 degrees the temperature in Smithfield. Looking good so far in Johnston County. 68 degrees at Carter Finley Stadium. A few of those fair weather clouds. But these are way up in the atmosphere. They aren't thick enough to block the August sunshine. It'll filter through and they're not substantial enough to drop any showers on us. We're going to stay dry today. Temperatures in the 60s all around the triangle. Anywhere from 64 in Lewisburg to 68 degrees in Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill, 69 degrees. The warm locations in Nightdale and at Holly Springs. We pan far the south. It's a little warmer. You're right at 70 in Fayetteville, also 70 on Fort Bragg. Low to mid-70s for the warm spots. Rayford and Grays Creek checking in a little bit farther into the 70s with a little more humidity as well. But the humidity is at least going to be tolerable for one more day. Decent weather for getting your dogs out for a walk early in the day. Get out now. Our dogs of the day, Jeremiah and Carly, thank you to their person, Pam, for sharing that picture with us. And if you want to do the same, just send me an email with your dog's picture attached. We share a different dog every day, and we still got some openings on the calendar later in August. Temperature are going to heat up. That's why we're emphasizing get out early in the day. A little warm for those puppy paws and fur coats this afternoon with temperatures hour by hour in the upper 80s topping out right around 90. But those rain chances stay lower than 10%. No interference from any showers or thunder showers today. Hour by hour temperatures elsewhere well into the 80s already by lunchtime and then we climb up to around 90 in the triangle for highs this afternoon. Maybe a couple degrees cooler to the north, a couple degrees warmer to the south, but very typical mid-August temperatures and the humidity again should remain at least acceptable for one more day, but it's going to be less so tomorrow and Wednesday, and that's going to fuel a better chance of storms. But nothing around us today. Everything stays out to our west today and tonight. We'll start off tomorrow dry. We'll spend most of the day being dry on Tuesday other than just sweat because we're going to be into the mid-90s with a heat index around 100. Future cast shows a couple pop-up storms developing during the afternoon with a better chance of storms trying to make a run towards us from the west by late tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. If those hold together, they would run into our northern counties with an outside chance of a couple severe storms, damaging winds, the main threat that we're going to watch for tomorrow after the sun goes down. So that timing helps us out. The greater threat is going to stay farther to our north. The most unsettled day is going to be Wednesday with a good chance of showers and storms, especially from the triangle southward. Still hot though, mid 90s, and then we retreat to the 80s with some lingering showers and storms. Highest chances south of the triangle Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to be flexible with any outdoor plans, but no day looks like a washout.